if you're going to raise domestic silk moths, there's something you got to know. And that's that even if your moth makes enough fluid to get through the cocoon, most of the time, they still don't push through the cocoon. The reason for this is that the cocoons are two to three times thicker than when they were wild moths. This has been done for over thousands of years and there is no undoing it. Same thing with their flying. They'll never fly again. Normally I cut the cocoons and I remove the pupas and put them in a humid hide until they emerge just to avoid this issue. Because when he comes out, he is now going to have all of his poop all over him. And don't be rude to him. He's still adorable, even covered in poop. It's not his fault, so we really shouldn't judge him. Who do I complain to? They let me poop all over myself. Someone should have cut me out prior to this. You're slacking, lady. Sorry, buddy. I'll do better next time, all right? Darn right you will. No one wants to sit in their poo, man.